Okay, I'm just really feeling myself right now. Come in, honey. Mm -hmm. Hello? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I got a haircut, can you tell? I love it, it's so easy. I'm back to the short hair. I plan on doing some hairstyles for short hair very soon because it is honestly, it is very short. It's a little A-line E. So I'm in love with this look that I just created. This is the natural baddie makeup. This is not natural makeup. Using the new nude palette from Huda Beauty. It surprised me a lot. It's just an all over neutral kind of a glam look. And it's something that I can totally wear on a daily basis. If you're into wearing makeup like this, I am. So I am more of a glam girl. So I can totally wear this every day and feel comfortable. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video and my new hair. I am. Enjoying my new hair. I'm feeling myself way too much today in this video, by the way, so just warning you guys. Before we get into the video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you can be a part of the quad family. And without further ado, let's, this is not your quad. I know that. Let's get into the video. Looking extra glowy and dewy because I already prepped my face. I'm gonna go ahead and put on some foundation. Today I'm gonna mix my favorites together just to see what happens. The Derma Blend Flawless Creator. You guys know I love this one. And the Jouer Essential High Coverage. Just another one that I really like. So I'm just gonna put it on the back of my hand <laughs> like that. Just so graciously. And then I'll just, ooh, do I even have any more left? You guys, you can tell. Just kidding, I have none left. We're just gonna use this foundation instead. I'm using a lot of new makeup today. This is looking kind of dark for me right now, and this is like my perfect color usually. I don't know what's happening. I feel really orange right now. I don't know if what happened, but I look like I belong on Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. <laughs> I have a feeling we are gonna make this work because we can make anything work. Hold. Okay, so I'm back with my brows, but I wanted to clean them up. I feel like with that Instagram baddie kind of look, it's all about defined lines on the face. So I'm gonna take some concealer and I'm gonna clean up my brows, make them a little bit more sharp along the brow bone. So I'm gonna go in with this Makeup Shack T37 brush and some MAC concealer and just clean up this brow. And I'm gonna go in with a beauty blender and just tap in the edge of that concealer. I'm not gonna go on the top just because I want it to be more furry on the top. All right, so now that our brows are nice and clean, I'm gonna go into the eyeshadow that we're using today. I'm so excited to use this eyeshadow today because it is so freaking cool. It's very unique. First impression of this palette, I love. I'm gonna be using the new Huda Beauty New Nude Palette. Look at this packaging. It's automatically eye-catching. She has like a rosy nude mauve theme going on here. And she has some mattes. She has these new spackled colors here. She has some pressed glitters, um, a pearl, and the rest are matte. Super wearable, something that is more on the cool tone side. This palette's really cool because it comes with a concealer in it right here. It looks like an eyeshadow, but it's actually a cream concealer. It's kind of sheer. She actually has three brushes that she came out with with this palette, and they're both dual-ended brushes. Easy to use. You don't have to pick up other brushes. You can just flip back and forth. So the first brush to put on this particular concealer shade is this brush right here. It's called Eyes Bender Blender. So I'm going to pick up this guy right here. Oh, I don't know if that was the right brush to use. Let me try this side, the little sponge. Okay, that looks better. Just put that all over the lid, up into the crease. This is the Zoeva 325 Brow Light Brush. So I'm gonna pick that up, and yes, it's giving me way more payoff than her brush. So I'm gonna put that all over my lid. And it is a little thicker. It did feel kind of sheer, and if you're gonna put it on with that brush, it is gonna come off sheer, but with this type of brush, it really just picks up and puts on so much more product, which is awesome because then your eye is gonna look a little bit more even. I'm gonna go over with a beauty blender just so that everything's nice and even we're nice and bright so the first color i am going to go into is secret and teddy these two are matte shades so we're going to use the build in blend brush right here i'm going to start off with this big fluffy side and pick up some both of those colors and put that into the crease just to start off actually i feel like we need to go a little i don't know oh, 
I don't honestly, I don't know about, maybe I'll like it later, but I don't like the way it's applying my eyeshadow. I think it's too big. I don't know, I'm gonna go to this gift brush set just because it's a little bit more precise. And I am getting a lot of payoff just with one swipe, which is really good. But it also means go in carefully with these. There is some fallout, as you can see, but it's not insane. It's not like falling apart. I mean, it's just a soft shadow and that's why you're gonna see that. Go back into that crease and work this in there. When I'm focusing a color on the crease, I wanna make sure that there's no color on the back of the brush. But we are going to just build this up. It's, oh my God, it's so pigmented. So, so pigmented. Okay, I'm gonna take that same color and bring it right down on the lower part of the lash line. Even though this is an like a mauve -y kind of an eyeshadow, I actually really like this. Somebody tell me how to use this brush. It's like slanted. I don't know. Maybe, let me try to use it again. It's just the slanting is kind of throwing me off a little bit. So now the color I'm picking up is raw. I'm gonna take raw and a little bit of love bite. Mix those guys together and I'm going to continue to work that right on the crease, but not too far in. I'm gonna leave it, cause then it's gonna get really deep and dark looking on my eyes, because my eyes are a little bit more closer in. If you have a nice wide space there, you can totally bring it in. It won't make it look too crazy just because of the tone, but for me, the placement matters on my eye shape. It can look really heavy for no reason. Going back and forth, very light hand, like you see my brush, it's super soft and I'm just going back and forth like that. I'm not gonna bring it in. I'm gonna go into Spanked and Tickle. <laughs> so here is Tickle, Spanked. We're gonna work that all over the outer part of the eye. The outer third to be exact. I just like anything that pulls my eyes like this. You know, I just want a mini eye lift. So I'm gonna pick up her brush again, the blend part, which I didn't think I was gonna like at first, but sometimes you just have to give things a chance. Try them a few times before you say, I can't do this anymore. Build up raw in there. Raw is a little bit darker. A little bit of a deeper red tone color in the palettes, giving me like a brownie red vibe. You take this tiny little baby brush from the Makeup Shock, it's the T14, go into raw and deepen this outer corner out. We're gonna deepen it up and bring it out. So right here, connect these two guys right in here. This looks messy, but I always make it, I always clean it up at the end, believe me. Then I'm gonna take this brush, which I thought was terrible, and blend, because it's actually really good. Now I'm gonna go into the concealer shade again. I'm gonna put it all over the inner third of the eye. So I'm gonna start here and just clean up this crease. Because it's so small, I'm gonna go in with this brush and just clean up here. I'm going to add this gorgeous looking unique. I'm infatuated with these shades, these spackled shades right here. I'm gonna take Daydream, it's right here on my finger. With these shades, sometimes it's better to use like a synthetic brush or your finger, but you can also put it on with this. Oh, it's so pretty. It's so, so pretty. So there we go on both sides, taking that matte here, and then I'm taking Crave here. And we're gonna work this on the inner corner. First starting with the matte. Ooh, the matte is really pigmented. We love that. Very nice. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. And then I'm gonna go into Crave and just take it right in the inner corners, right on top. Camera cut off and I'm gonna pick up where I was going. I just married these two areas together So it's like one big happy family. It's very smooth. You can't see where it begins and it ends Don't use a lot of pressure on your eyelid. Just barely touch your eyelid and go back and forth Let the brush just sweep super softly over your shadow And then if you feel like you have a little edginess here, then you just gotta take this brush Right here and soften those edges out. I'm gonna take my wing liner brush. Here is Love Bite up here. Let's see how these work as a liner. We just need that extra definition. A little more purple on the lower lash line just to define that area. The lashes I'm using actually are a new style that I haven't used. They're from Lily Lashes. They're in the style MILF. So I'm gonna take this right here and pop them on and I will be back. So we're back with the lash. Lashes. I haven't put any mascara on my eyelashes because I wanted to use this MAC Up For Everything lash. And this is a very long wearing lash. 
mascara. And then I think we're really just gonna see how it works on our lower lashes because all that it's doing here on the upper is just meshing them together. Bam, these lashes, this look, this hair. Okay, I'm just really feeling myself right now. So I'm gonna do the lower lash line too. Let's see what this gives us. <laughs> Why do we do that to ourselves? It's a little bit of a clumpy thing going on, but I don't mind it. I kind of like the clump sometimes. Is that weird? Like I kind of like a little bit of a clump in some areas. So now we're gonna go on to the rest of the face. I am so excited to get into these concealers because I am hoping I find a new concealer. I have been on the hunt for one. Charlotte Tilbury concealers came in. They are really cool. I actually came in a huge concealer package. It was so cool. Um, they're called Magic Away. It's the liquid concealer. I like that you can see a peek through of the concealer here and you can Ooh, I was not expecting that. Doing this. Mm hmm. Hello? You gotta crank it up a few times. Come in, honey. Okay, there she goes. Now that we have her here, hi, hello, we are gonna put her on the lower, like where we need it, obviously. Under eyes, brighten the face. Let's do this. Darker than what I expected it to be but it's not like bad. I really like this sponge. The way it's shaped just fits all the curves on my face and puts down the right amount of product. I like that. Bring my under eyes back to life. That's what I think when I put on my concealer. I'm like, I'm gonna look so snatched. This is a thicker concealer, but I like it. I like that it's giving me so much coverage and it feels like cushiony. It's just really comfortable on the skin. I'm gonna set my eyes with the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Powder. Super cute, love. Her packaging is very like elevated and just luxe looking, I love it. I can't open that, but I can open it like this and I'm just gonna dip my brush in there. I'd rather do that anyways. I'm gonna go ahead and use this Thrive Cosmetics bronzer. This is our transition for our contour. And we're gonna put it around the temple, bring it around the forehead. Careful not to go bronzer helmet on us. I'm gonna just dust off this powder. I'm gonna contour it with the MAC contour palette. I'm gonna go into Persona's highlight. I'm gonna use Zuma here. She's loved, okay? She is loved. Yeah, so we're gonna go into her. It is not a baddie makeup look without highlight. And this is one of those intense highlights. So we'll sweep it back and forth. Okay, so for the last thing, we are going into the lips and it's not a baddie look without lip liner. Strip down. Strip down is always my go-to. So I'm just gonna put that. It's like a brownie, beige. Okay, I'm gonna go into Stone for the liquid lip from Dose of Colors. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I really love, love how this look came out. Before I leave you guys, I want to leave you on a note that you can take with you and wear throughout the day in your heart. I want you to remember that you are so important. Your life in this world is so important and your heart is beautiful. I love you and I know you needed that today. I love you so much. Thank you for watching and being a part of my family here on YouTube, it means the world. And before I leave, if you haven't checked out these videos on the side, make sure to check them out because they're gonna be hanging out. And if you haven't watched them, how sad. And subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed. I love you guys, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye, darling. I was supposed to let that go. <laughs>